Welcome everybody to episode 224 of the effing title. I am Obi-Wan Big Husky. And I am Darth Lord Severus. I just I was looking at your background. I got so distracted. It's a good background. You like that? You like that? It is good. Yeah. I did, I've I did, seen it up there. I was like, "Oh, it's funny okay. because uh, as it's it's funny because like so for everyone that doesn't know, I found a background on YouTube on uh, Google, and I'm like, I was like, I wonder if I can just use this. And I was like, after I thinking about, it, I was like, I should probably make my own version of it. So I literally took it, and each individual panel that's here was a different game. So what I had to do on on my shitty Paint 3D was cr magic select everything but the one panel I was working on. Go into another program, put that on there, and then just slowly put the pieces together. But I, I, you know, good selection up here. Some that people might know. It's probably a super easy way to do it on Photoshop, up where you just do layers. Oh, probably. I just don't have Photoshop, probably, so. But I'm so too dumb to figure that yeah, out. I don't. I don't even have Photoshop, so paint three uh, minutes for me, baby. <laughs> I, I just, I, I had a brief stint in Photoshop trying to figuring out how to make my. Uh, my uh, uh, God, what do they call on Twitch? Emotes? Not emotes. Uh, banners. Uh, no, the, uh, like your, the chat. Oh, yeah, emotes, yeah, you were right. Emotes, yeah, yeah I was right. making my own emotes in, uh, on Photoshop. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so, if you guys, uh, can't tell from that intro, um, we're talking about Star Wars. Specifically, Star Wars. specifically, the video games. Not anything else, just the video games today. Yeah, very specifically the video yeah. games. I didn't even think, I was like, yeah, no, we're just talking about video games. Yeah, because, the uh, the, uh, the classic collection bombed out this week yeah and i was like i was gonna buy it i'm really glad i didn't pre-order it yeah i'm not i don't i don't blame you um so one of the things that i saw was that um ten thousand people pre-ordered it on steam and they number. had three servers that could hold 60 players each <laughs> yeah and if <laughs> and once you got in there you couldn't spawn yeah so um Kind of crazy that still, like, this is one of the things that I have thought about. It's still crazy to me that in 2024, we're still having this big a problem with video games. Well, that is releases. not, you know, like, it's Star Wars. You know st people are going to like Star Wars. A lot of, like, people, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is their favorite game mm -hmm. of any Star Wars game. Yes. People still play that game. Yes. And you're going to release a game that just doesn't, you're like, eh, three servers, that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, I was like, who even <sighs> released it? Uh, I'm going to assume EA. I'm just going to assume it because EA owns. It's not EA because it isn't. They okay. are EA games. Okay, because I was, was going to say because EA owns the rights right now to Star Wars video games, don't they? Um, they did, but not anymore. Okay, because I was going to say because I know they did because EA did um, uh, Jedi Survivor and uh, Fallen Order, and I yeah, thought so they, they were had doing the rights. They can still make games, but they don't have the soul rights anymore, soul rights, which okay. is why this this came back out. Okay. Um, uh, a Battlefront Classic Collection. What? Who is the publisher? Because it probably uh, shares and not Asper. Asper. Oh, it's a port comp uh, publisher. Well, that, uh, okay. I don't want to say that explains it, but uh. It doesn't, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, no, from, so from my knowledge, from so what? What is what do we get in this collection? Because I'm not gonna lie to you. Did you get, yeah. I saw it. I, I, what I thought it was was Battlefront one and two. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, the original ones, not the EA ones. Oh, the OG. Oh, okay. Cause oh, I was gonna yes, say, yeah. See, because that was my thing this whole time. I'm, <laughs> yeah, dumb. Okay. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I because I thought this whole time we were just talking about was like the oh, the no. new ones. And I'm sitting there oh. like you can you can buy both of them for like ten bucks right now. Like what 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 what? what why are we well, so excited you, about? I mean, this? realistically, you can buy the old ones for that much too. <clears throat> yeah, I just uh, I, I genuinely had no I had no clue that that's what. Okay, yep, I'm dumb. Uh, well, let's look at the games they've remastered. Uh, Tomb Raider two. 98. Um, not great, uh, remaster, or at least ported. Deus Ex, Sid Meiser's Alpha Centauri, Tomb Raider Last Revolution. They do a ton of Tomb Raider games. They did Tony Ox Pro Skater 2 for the PC, which is actually a game I had in 2001. Um, played that a ton. Oh, they uh, did Mark Red. 
Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, Medal of Honor, Ally Assault, shout out, Spider-Man 1, uh, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, which is, uh, I'm a, which I'm going to talk about. I was going to say, it looks um, like they've worked, they've worked on a lot of games, they've worked on a, a decent amount of Star Wars stuff. Jedi like. Academy, uh, Call of Duty, they've ported a lot of stuff, so which... They right the, now, I'm in. I'm just they in. They ported the, I'm in the it originally in 2005. Yeah, because I'm in the. Uh, I'm, just in the uh, I'm in the regular developer section right now. They've worked on a lot of. Um, a lot of Star Wars stuff, even. Yeah. They ported Call of Duty Four. Borderlands. Uh, they did Borderlands Two, Bioshock Infinite. The Force Unleashed. Yeah, Borderlands Two. I played Borderlands Two PC. Um. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two and Three. Oh, the original Call, uh, ones. Uh, and that's Kotor. Uh, the Handsome Jack collection. I so said they, they did the two, the two, two of the indie ones that I, the kind of indie. One, they, one of the indie ones, that. uh, Mork, Morkrid was one that I, that I never actually played. I was going to play it and then never did because it's, it's supposed to be like a, um, it's better co-op than anything. So I was just. Oh, they did Pod Episode One Pod Racer remake, which I I got. Yeah. <laughs> which they put they released it for Games with Gold one month, like in the last year. Mm-hmm. Got all them achievements, mm. mm -hmm. and then uh, big one, Ruby Grim Eclipse oh. by the, the now defunct Rooster Teeth. Yep, the now defunct Rooster Teeth. Huh? Which I uh, funny, I uh, I saw that, so I was like, well, I gotta buy Red vs. Blue. Let's go. Red vs. Blue, the first ten seasons on Blu-ray, because I, I was like, it. that's gonna disappear. I love. And you that. know what? Can't find it anywhere right now. I was now, gonna say so. that is going to as well. Just slowly keep going up as well. So yeah, if you, because it, right now you can't find it. So I want, I got it. I love that. Hit, hit a little. I had season one and two originally. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so Asper fought, dropped the ball. Yep, just kind so, of because that was the thing. Is like I, I remember hearing Danute was talking about it, saying that he was excited about it. He wasn't sure if he was going to pre-order it or not, and like that sort of thing. And then uh, everything came out. I saw a bunch of TikToks about it. The next thing I know, Danute sent me a message like, "Yeah, kind of glad it didn't." And uh, we went from there, kind of, you know, so. Um, but it got us thinking, though, about Star Wars games and how, you know, f for most of our lives anyway, Star Wars games have slowly been evolving, evolving, evolving. And, uh, yeah, we thought, why not? Let's 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 talk about some. Like I said, we got some, uh, like, if you guys are just listening, you won't see. But in the background behind us, <laughs> we got five of them, one of which I'm pretty sure almost no one remembers, which is above you. All yeah, the way I didn't know what that, what that one was. Yeah, so uh, Battlefront to start with. Then we got Pod Racing, probably arguably yep. one of the best ones just because it's Pod Racing. Well, that's um, the oldest one on my list from 99. Uh, that's the second oldest one on my list. Okay, which I assume is the one on the far right. Uh, okay, so it might be the third oldest one on my list then. Uh, <laughs> Fallen Order. Uh, I think that's uh, Nice the Old Republic there. And then the yeah, final one over there is Shadows of the Empire. Okay. Yeah. So shadows. So while 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 I just said that, so Shadows of the Empire was a third person shooter on the N64 uh, in 1996. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. You, uh, the player controls the mercenary Dash Render. <laughs> hey, I'm Dash Render. To help Luke Skywalker and rescue Princess Leia from Prince Zizor. He's like. Dash, you cannot fuck my sister. It's like, but it's your sister, baby. <laughs> but it's, I've got to do it, though. It's your sister, um, baby. Uh, it has backstory between, so supposedly between Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. That's the okay. That's the timeline, anyway. Um, you have a blaster pistol. You have a jet pack. Um, you, when you oh, run I out of lives. You, that. Yeah. You, yeah. Everybody has yeah. played it. It's just they don't remember it. That's yeah. the thing. It's once you explain that, I'm like, nope, I've definitely played that. Mm, yep, there's because uh, there's a uh, job of the huts in there. Um, and it plays like shit. It does. That's the fun part about it. It's, yeah. it is it is dog shit, but it's one of my favorites of all time because of it being so iconic and dog shit. Like I, I, I just I, I I remember because my my so my uncle, shout out to my to Uncle Eighty out there, uh, my English uncle, um, he got me into Star Wars. When I was a kid. And He's like, you should check out Star Wars in it. <coughs> right, I've been watching The Gentleman all morning. <laughs> um, but so I sh remember, I think if I remember correctly, I remember showing him it and him seeing it and him even trying to play it. And him being like, yeah, this is a piece of shit. Like that sort of thing. So, um, but yeah, no, Star Wars games have been slowly developing from Shadow of the Empire to uh, a lot better. 
I would say we're so probably that's in like what I wanted to talk about. So I did a top five real quick. We it's not what we discussed. Mm-hmm. Um, but if we go to, I'll just say my number one. Okay, I'll say my number one. Right. We'll just start. Star Wars games kind of hit their heyday between like 2002 and like 2008. Yes, I want to say in that time period, mm-hmm. it was like Lucas Starts was like pumping and like oh yeah, yeah pumping out games and then so like if you're looking at it all right we got like so we talked about a jedi knight to jedi outcast mm-hmm. is a port that asper did that came out 2002 that was the second game i don't remember what the first game was and then jedi knight jedi academy which is the third game came out a year later 2003 and then we look at knights of the old republic 2003 Knights of the old republic 2 2004 just pumping out games. And then say, Battlefront, I, original Battlefront, I was 2004. Say, oh, arguably, to cut you off real quick, arguably some of the best cinematics, trailer-wise, yeah. for Nice of the Old Republic. Like, yeah. hands... It, like, I never played... I never played Nice of the Old Republic. I kind of okay. really hate the fact that I never did, but I never did. But seeing those trailers makes me want to play. Yeah, fancy PC now. You can. I know. I, I have it on I Steam. Know. I might have to figure it out. I bought a Humble Bundle way, way back in the day, and I have, like, all all the old Star Wars games. I see John's always telling me about the Humble Bundles. Um, so, the, uh, KOTOR 1, 2003. Mm-hmm. KOTOR 2, 2004. Yep. And then Battlefront 1, 2004. Battlefront 2, 2005. And so, the, these games were just all stacked. And then Star Wars Republic Commando, 2005. Another one, arguably Ooh. the... Most love Star Wars games. Have yet to play it. Have it on the PC. I same. Yeah, I got on it. It was on a Twitch, uh, one of the Twitch Prime things. Oh, was it? Okay. <clears throat> yep, it was one of the free uh, games on there. So I was like, yes, definitely Fallout doing 2 that. Is right is free right now. Ooh, not a Fallout yeah. fan, but interesting for everyone out there that uh, is a Fallout fan. Well, you're not a Fallout fan yet. You haven't played them yet. True. True. I'll give, that, that, I'll, give that that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay. We did a whole podcast last week. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> uh, all right. I will start my number five. Okay. Battlefront 2, 2017. Okay, so the newest one. Got it. The newest one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's a solid, it's a uh, solid starter. Um, I remember playing Battlefront 1 when it came out. Mm-hmm. And all right, here's my, here's my one gripe with Battlefront. Is that you can choose to play with the, well with the so Battlefront one came out to twenty fifteen and came out two in twenty seventeen. Yeah. My biggest gripe is that you can play in first or third person. Okay. And it's not like okay, well again you're playing Fallout. Fallout is a first person game that can also be played in third person, but it's really a first person game. Yes. Like Skyrim, because <clears throat> it's really not a third person game. It's like kind of broken. Mm-hmm. Where Battlefront is. It looks so much better in first person, yeah. But it, you get absolutely pooped on by anyone playing in third person, yes, because it is a third person game, yes. Um, so I just remember like first playing Battlefront, this new one, like the sound, the sound they nailed, and they, that's like the first thing. That's like, if, if anything, the sound of the new Battlefront games like is be- above and beyond all, because mm-hmm. it's like if you ever played a Battlefield game, yes. it's like truly like you're in war, like the sound. Because yeah. I've been in war, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's like uh, <laughs> they just nailed the sound design, the guns, like a laser blast flying through your head, everything, you know. So mm-hmm. I think that was like a big one that for me for Battlefront Two, and then like Battlefront, I played Battlefront Two so many times. I think I am so dumb, I cannot remember the game type. Where well, there's a game type where you just keep fighting, um, and it's like uh, so, like say, or like almost like a team deathmatch yeah. sort of thing, or no, it's like a like a it's uh, like a conquest mode. Oh, okay, where yeah. there's like territories you have to hold, and yep. say you're getting attacked. You have like you're on your planet. You have to like hold attacking. back. Like isn't the one with like uh, the ATATs, like that sort of thing? Like you got to hold back uh, the ATATs. You know, or so I'm talking. No, I'm talking about like the newest Battlefront. Still. Okay, because I mean, even in that one, there was some there was some like that. A little bit, not. They didn't have the big ones. They had the S, like the little two-legged ones. Yeah. Um, but so you would fight and you would do this. Say and say you were like the planet was your home world. Mm-hmm. If you won, then you'd go fly up on their their ship and then try to take their oh. ship. Oh. And then like if you won that, you won. But say they won, you go back to the planet. Interesting. I gotta say, I so never. So you would go back and forth. There are times I'd be playing like these three-hour matches. 
because the the round would end with someone winning, but it just kept going back and forth, and mm-hmm. you couldn't. You just you just have to win two in a row. That's funny. And I and uh, I cannot remember the name. Of the, I think Galact not Galactic Conquest. That's the one from Battlefront Two, two thousand five. Um. You know, I I I I don't have mine in order. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say uh, Battlefield Battle, Battlefield t- Battlefield Two is on my list. I'll, I'll okay. you know, um, it's the the newest new one. one. Yeah, the newest one. Yeah. Um, I played it a little bit by myself. I liked it. I played it. I actually got the boys to play it. One of my one of my favorite memories is me and Rob running around. Me as an Ewok and Rob as Chewy, and we were just running around causing mayhem, just throwing shit at people. Oh, that Ewok game type they have. This, it's this like is horror mode. It's so much fun. Yeah, this this one was just like a regular like uh, team deathmatch oh, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. And like I I just I was an Ewok. <laughs> he was Chewy. But yeah, no, like we so we were just running next to each other, just running around. I'm just throwing rocks at people, and he's just shooting people. Have so, you played the Ewok game game type? No, I haven't played it in. Maybe what it a year is or is so. Um, you're on the that planet. Okay. And Fucking, mm, Gavin I want to I want to say Endor, but I feel like that's wrong. Um. It might be. Um, I think it is. So, you're on the planet. And one team's the Ewoks. One team's stormtroopers. Andor. Bang. Uh, one team's two tri- uh, uh, stormtroopers. It's nighttime, and the stormtroopers have to get to a ship to escape. They have to evac. That just sounds like and, a horror game, bro. <laughs> it's literally a horror game because you can, and it's it's pitch black, but there's torches kind of throughout the map, so you can see where you're going. And then you're just hearing just random little squeaky noises everywhere. Yeah, and so you and then you climb the trees and stuff, and it's literally just like he walks throwing, hitting them with rocks. It's like we're there, they're in the trees. So it's like you just like you just uh, and it's like when you start, you guys all like you storm. It's like it's all like mm-hmm. you just you know it's all about uh attacking groups of yeah. storm. It's fun. It's like a horror game. It's fun. It's, that's, that it was, game. That game is a lot of fun. Last, last like I said, the last time I played was like a year ago. So. Bear with okay, me no, this, it was out but, then. Um, yeah. So, but like the one thing I do remember, and it kind of this was the thing kind of sucked for us was like I said. So I remember playing with Rob. I don't remember if Veg was playing with us because Veg sometimes won't play some of the games. But me and Rob, I know were because of that one thing. But I do remember we played it one day. I think it was all three of us, and it was one of those things where like. Like, we were doing uh, like a conquest sort of mode or something like that, and it was just one of those things where. Having, because I had a couple levels on my character, they yeah. had fresh, brand new characters, and we're going against people that have been playing the game die hard every day since the first day it came out. They had level like 50, 100, whatever the hell the highest levels are, and they just have all of the guns, all of the attachments, all of the stuff, all of the, and they just shit on us. And it was one of those things yeah. just like, after a minute, not, not so much fun. <laughs> Uh, that, that's, so that one, it's not as bad as like Battlefield. Mm-hmm. Battlefield is like, oh, yeah, that one really, yep. really make a difference if you've been that, playing for a long time. That one I noticed when I played it, yeah. Battlefront's not as bad, but it still exists. Like you have these perk cards that like mm-hmm. your health will come back right as soon as you kill someone and stuff like that. So they like, there's a, a benefit to have been playing, but like Battlefield's like so much worse, but it's the same people. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it only makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll go four. Okay, stay. Okay. I'm just going to throw out yeah. one. I'm going to throw out one yeah. here, all right? I'm uh-huh. going to throw out Yoda stories. <laughs> Is that like a Game Boy game? <laughs> no. Yoda okay. stories. Uh, Star Wars Yoda stories. So for everyone out there that doesn't know, I'll I'll, I'll bring it up on screen so it's going to come to you for a moment. I don't know. Um, yeah, bring it up. But it's, it's right here. It's Star Wars Yoda stories. It was on the PC. It was also like it was also on uh, the Game Boy, like uh, maybe the Game Boy, Game Boy Color. It sort was of thing. on the Game Boy. I had it for the PC though, and it was okay. uh, so it's uh, an adventure action game. Um, it was released on Microsoft Windows in '97 and ported to the Game Boy Color in 1999. So yet again, my age is showing here, everyone. Um, Yoda Stories is a short proceed. Uh, Oh, so that was the second oldest game on your list. So it's a generated point-and-click adventure game. Okay. So you just you, you're playing as like Yoda or Luke, and you have to like kind of just move around this one little mini map, and like I can actually show right here to an extent. This is what you would see in game, and you would just move. It looks like Pokemon. Oh yeah, dude! It, like basically, like it looked like old school Pokemon. But like you had your lightsaber, you had all the different things you were carrying at the time. You could change them in and out. Like you added like 
puzzles you had to do and stuff. It was. It looks like old school Pokemon or 2019 Pokemon. <laughs> it was. Yeah, players move Luke across a 2D grid, equip and use equip, uh, weapons to defeat enemies, push and pull certain objects, and collect items into their inventory to be used later on. Each mission takes place on a new procedurally. That's what I was trying to say earlier, and I couldn't say the fucking word. Okay. Procedurally no, generated planet which, and requires the players to complete a series of item based puzzles, either by pushing or pulling obstacles to reveal items, using items acquired elsewhere to unlock an item, a new item, or defeating enemies in an area. Holy long run on sentence. Okay. Yeah. So, that was a game that I remember playing. I never actually beat it, but I played it a ton. It was just one of those fun... Like, this was, like, this is 97. So this is when I was still in England. So, this was, like, PC was just come out. Like, here you go. You're on the PC. Don't use the internet. You know, so I can't play Neopets at the time. So, it's like, here you go, call and play. You What's know? your earliest PC game you remember playing, like, in your parents' basement? Like, I, for me, it was my parents' basement. Um... This might be one of them, honestly. This or um, there was one that came with a cereal, like a Chex. Oh, was it the the, the moon one? Yeah, or I think. Shooting things? Yeah. Hold up a second. It was like Doom. Uh, Chex uh, video game. It was like Doom. Chex Quest. It like, yeah, it was a like Doom knockoff. Yep. That was one of them as well that I remember. There was also an Earthworm Jim. Mm -hmm. game that I remember that I played on the PC. So, um, uh, mine was there were two different games. Okay, One was like a, I guess side-scroller. It was three. They were like educational games but they were like to help you learn and like read and like do colors and stuff. And one was like you were in a school and you had to like go your way through the school. Basically mm -hmm. you had to run the school too. Um, and then so it was one of those things where you like you, had, you, like, you hit an arrow and it turns you into an area and then there's stuff you can click in it. And then there was one I remember playing that, like, you were on an island and then you, like, had a sick day or something. And you came back and all of the, all of the other students had been kidnapped by, like, vampires or something. <laughs> and you had to, like, find them. Oh, and you, I was like, you, you gotta, kind of dark. I was going to say, you got to um, love the old school games like that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, you had to rescue your school. Um, but the the main one is Muppet Treasure Island for the PC. Muppet Treasure Island, I. Right. It was 96, so oh. I remember playing the crap out of that game. What's but I always had this game-breaking bug where I couldn't beat the last level, and I had only beat it, like, once or twice. Um, it's and I'm looking at it right now. I was going to say, it's funny. It's I funny would as, really uh, love to play it. I was just going to say, it's funny as talking about this, because I was literally just talking with Xander about um, how he, did some, he posted something where it's like, do you remember oh. this? I wonder if I can see what the actual post was. It was, it was Published something... by Activision. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Published by Activision. Sh uh, shocker right there. Um, let's see here. Does he still does he still have it? No, he doesn't. Um, so it was on his story. It was something like, it's like, oh, were you old enough to remember blah, blah, blah? Like that sort of thing, right? And it involved like yeah. a PC. And I was like, and I wrote, I'm, and I responded with, I'm so old that I couldn't watch Gladiator on a fully charged laptop till completion. And I still remember that to this day. Me and my old man being, uh, being on, on a couch watching the movie on his laptop. No, no, it was, on his, it was on the bed. It was on the bed. We were watching it on the bed, right? And we were watching it on his little laptop, and he charged it fully. And then, of course, because it's the old it's the old days, so you don't leave the power cord in. Jesus Christ, don't ever leave it plugged in. Enough of it. Yeah, so, you, you know, charge it fully, pull it out, put it in Gladiator, and we couldn't watch the entire movie. Because that's how, that's how short it the battery was. It was a long movie, though. It was I a think, long movie, but still I kind of... Might, you might struggle with that now. Probably, but, it's, you know... Um, I, that's, that was one of those funny ones. Just thinking, thinking of the, the yeah, my so. side one. Uh, I remember the first time I watched a movie on my iPod. Oh, it was yep. three hundred, and <laughs> I had to have been like a sophomore in high school. So this mm -hmm. had to have been like two thousand seven. Sounds about right. And it was an iPod Classic. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a touch. It was yeah, one like, of the old you, old yeah spinner so, like, dials. Yes, which I. <laughs> it very still thinks is cool. I still have one over there. <laughs> yeah, um, it was i iPod Classic or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe iPod Video. I can't yep. remember what it was called. Um, it was like the first time you could ever have like color images on something. Yeah, because it was like the it was like the iPod Mini was huge, and then then that yeah. Anyways, so um, my number four game. We'll keep moving on. I keep sidetracking. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, my number four game, Jedi Knight 3, Jedi Academy. Okay. Okay. 
and that was uh, 2003. Um, and so that one, you see, you'll still see clips of it online. People are still modding it. Um, you were like a. This was like way in the past. You were a student at a Jedi Academy. Oh, okay. I've seen. I've seen bits. Of, I mean, I've and so it's a third-person yeah. game, and people still do like PvP in it. That's um, cool. So it had like crazy lightsaber physics. Like you, when you fought people, you would like cut off their limbs and head and cut them in half when you'd kill them. Love it. And this, love it. And uh, especially when you ran, like say you have your lightsaber out, if you like ran and it touched a wall, it would leave streaks. Oh, that's cool. And it see, would like the, actually like burn stuff if you ran into it. See the little details like that. I like. Yeah. Uh, yep, I'm seeing it right here. I'm seeing a picture of what was someone doing. And that right was here. like. I think that game by far had like the coolest, even to this day, like lightsaber effects around in, in your world. Okay. Yeah. So it was like, uh, it was a pretty challenging game, but it was like, it had really cool bosses. Like you were like, a, ended up being like a, you could want to quests and stuff. That was the whole mission. Um, so that was my number four. Okay. Want to go to your number three or? Oh, yeah. Snake Draft. My bad. Snake Draft. Number three. That's the Old Republic 2. Nice the Old Republic too. Okay, yeah, like I said, ne never played it. Yeah. I've always thought about it, but it's one of those things like it's an MMO. It's an uh, yeah, it's MMO, right? No, no it's nope. an RPG. Oh, okay, interesting. So the MMO is um, <sighs> I have my list. I've played it. It's still out. Uh, uh fudge, fudge. Um, the Old Republic. Is oh, okay. There we go. The MMO. Okay. And that came out in 2011, and I played it. It's just wow with Star Wars. That's all it is. And non updated WoW because it kind of plays pretty janky. <laughs> but it's still really cool. They yeah. did a good job on it. It's not like Star Wars Galaxies. Um, mm -hmm. Which, do you know anything about that? Nope. Star Wars Galaxies came out in the late 90s. Okay. Early 2000s. I can't remember. And you didn't. And the whole thing about it was it wasn't about becoming a Jedi. <laughs> oh. It, it was Point. about existing in the Star Wars universe. So you'd have a profession where you could be like a dancer, you could be a banker, you could be a trader, you could be um, a bartender, you could like literally, or a miner. You, you had like professions and you just did <clears throat> a job in the universe. <clears throat> That's so like, I, so like people complained. I was just and so eventually, like the publisher was like, guys, you got to like add Jedi somehow. So they did. And they didn't tell anyone. So you had to learn four professions in a in a in order. And they didn't and they didn't tell you this. You had to kill a boss and the boss would drop something and be like, Hey, you should learn this profession. Uh... And then you'd learn that profession and then you'd have to go kill another boss and they would be like, Learn this profession. So then the issue was and so like you had to get these four professions and then profession, like if you're playing like playing playing the game it would take months to master one profession so like people would go like a year of playing straight just to become a jedi and that's if they knew exactly what to do because you still had to kill a boss to get a thing yeah but then it kind of eliminated like the people like just doing what they wanted to do because it was like it had to be a specific okay uh, job and you like it yeah so like that kind of killed the game a little bit and once you became a jedi like no one could hurt you no one could like you were just overpowered. So there were there weren't ever very many Jedi. But this was like at the same time as like EverQuest and stuff. So it was a old game. Oh yeah. Okay. So that's Galaxies. <sighs> okay. And so you know, so your your three was uh Kotara two. Yeah. Knights of the Old Republic. So, two. Which I never finished. I uh because mm -hmm. it's a hard game. Okay. It's like uh it's not like a combat game. It is a combat game, but it's not like like any of these other ones where you it's it's like uh it's almost like a turn-based game oh okay. but the turn happen in the moment so like you say i want to go attack this guy and he just attacks they attack they attack i attack and then you can throw in other attacks or do different things and commands but you're not like it's yeah it's like almost turn-based but like act it's so it's kind of a weird combat system which i think that's like why it didn't do better but I've seen, I've seen it. I've heard of it. Never played it. It's one of those. It's, hard. it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's 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 funny. The more, the more that I get in, I'm, the longer I've been, in, I do streaming and I'm learning, doing games. And the more different topics that you and me talk about here, just unravels the amount of games I just have heard of and never even attempted or thought to play. 
And it's making me think I've played a ton of games. Yeah, I love it. Um, Um, So so that's my three. Okay, so my three I'm going to go with is Shadows of the Empire, which we just talked about a minute ago. Um, just like I said, um, it's, it, it takes place, it's on the N64. It takes place in between, uh, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Um, I like it. You're a mercenary that is trying to help Luke Skywalker rescue Princess Leia from some random person. Um, there's bikes in it, there's droids in it, there's a jetpack, there's a shooter, the jump mechanics are janky as shit, that's the big thing I remember, is there's a whole jumping section, where you have to, like, jump up, like, flip onto different areas, and, like, the areas are, like, the hitbox is like this one, like this one moment, and the next moment it's like this, and the next moment it's like this, and it just, it's... I watched this whole, like, thing about, like, first-person games, and they're, like, jump boxes, and they're, like, Mm -hmm. they always make the the ledges bigger than they appear because like you, whenever you're doing something you're not looking at the ledge so you're like if you think it's going to be here they're like well I'm just going to put it there yeah um apparently the story is divided into four chapters didn't know this um I think I may have only gone to like chapter two because I don't remember seeing any of this other shit that I'm reading right here um it's good to be remembered as a martyr without I being actually dead wouldn't you say <laughs> That's what it says to the um, game. Um, I I just looked up real quick on Steam to look mm-hmm. up Muppet Treasure Island, and it just gave. I looked up Muppet, and it just gave me a bunch of sex games. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're not go any further down <laughs> that rabbit hole. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole anymore. Um, so, but yes, that's my three though. Shadows of the Empire. It was, just, it was just a kooky game that made me. It was kind of cool to me because it felt like it was one of the first ones that wasn't Star Wars. It was Star Wars, but it wasn't Star yeah. Wars. You know, like it was like that off the beaten path kind of you know tie in. Um, it wasn't directly like well, kind of get away. I guess it was kind of directly, yeah. but it wasn't directly um, like this is Luke Skywalker. You're a Jedi. You're yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. My number two. Yeah. Is Pod Racing. I'm really glad you brought that up because I was about to say something about that. Okay. Good. Good. Um. He, the game came out in '99. I was mm-hmm. pr- eight years old when this game came out. Seven mm-hmm. or eight. Young, you know? Yep. Uh, so you know how, like, rumors when you're a kid, especially before the internet, because mm-hmm. you couldn't just look it up, because yeah. rumors were rumors, and the internet wasn't what it was today. Yep, the mu- so, like, like, like the Mew hiding behind the SSN boat. Yeah, so you're like, if you get behind the boat, there's, mm-hmm. yeah, and they were like, um, but then we all knew about the missing no Yeah, the the missing glitch. the missing no glitch that everybody found out about that destroyed everyone's games because it was a yeah. true glitch. And we all yeah. thought it was just another random Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we, we all found about it. No internet. Um, so this one was Pod, pod Racer. You know, Pod Racing is mm-hmm. Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer. It's a Pod <sighs> Racing game. You, it's a whole circuit. You're in the Pod Racing circuit. You're a big, fa- you're a big hot Pod Racer. Pod Racer. Uh, hot. So, so there was this like, I don't know why, but we all thought that you could play as a jedi in this game because you know this was like yep for our you know really for our like we this was our first real exposure to star wars some people may have like you know our age may have seen the original trilogy but like this is the first time where we're really seeing star mm-hmm. wars in media yeah so this, like the, the the first true because at this point Let's see, because the, the original Star Wars came out in like the seventies, eighties, like yeah, right. Like so it, before well, we were alive. So yeah, so this was going to be late twenties, early thirties for most people when the new ones came out. So yeah, mm-hmm. so this is this was our gen- like oh this is Star this is brand new Star Wars you know like exact same feeling but now we have video games with it. Yeah, so like we never had like and this is when video games were starting to be like mainstream mainstream yeah. like it wasn't just like a knockoff thing that you could like your your cousin had in his basement so we were playing this and we're like god when can we play as a jedi when can we play as a jedi and so like everyone thought that like if you like 100 percent of the game mm-hmm. this was like a weird rumor that went around i don't know if this is a real thing or just my area like if you 100 percent of the game you could play as a jedi and it would be a whole separate game which in hindsight now you'd be like, how dude, the, like no, who would put in a second game within a game? Yeah, you, right. had, you would just have to hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, so that was the whole thing we thought. Hundred percent the game, you walk a Jedi. So I, f- me and this kid Chase, 
sat in my room one weekend and 100 percent in this game on this like little 12 inch tv on my n64 and you know what happened when we 100 percent in you got like a congratulations sort of thing nothing nothing happened so um oh, that was the whole thing that's a funny a little like we were like dude we're gonna be jedi we're gonna be so cool i want to be darth maul i want darth maul's lightsaber <laughs> That thing is I mean, tight. Mean, mean, cool. Like, I can like, spend more. Like, I mean, yeah, it, was, it was such a cool game as well because, like, it was it was cool because you start with your with your basic pod racer, and then as you win races, you got money, and you could spend the money to level up your racer however you wanted. And when you or, beat certain people, you would get their pod racer, so you could just use theirs. And it just like it kept like it like as a kid like especially as a kid first playing this it grows out and they recently put it onto Xbox part of I think it was part of Gold or maybe in the Game Pass or something like that. Uh, I think um, they did a games with Gold. Um, and I I well I'm a hundred percent it, but yeah. I got all the achievements. Yeah, I I redownload it and played it again. I was just kind of one of those things. It's like it still doesn't play bad. No, it plays pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. I did fucking lose my mind though while doing it. Um, <laughs> yep. There's like this. There's these two courses, right? I, and, I hope to um, God it's the same ones that I'm thinking of right now. There's these courses with these big tubes, and um, if you there's like a tube, but in the center of it there's a path, mm -hmm. and you in order to win the race you have to stay on this path mm -hmm. because the path is as wide as your pod racer, and if you don't, the CPU. It's gonna make it down that path. It'll be fine, but you'll drop down, and like then you just can never catch up to him again. Mm -hmm. So if even on like third lap, if you do say the lap, the races are three laps. Even if you, you know, you don't can't. if you do it perfect, perfect, perfect until this third lap. If you fall off that that thing, you can't yeah. win the race. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm not kidding. One of these, it took me like two hours to win this race. Oh, yeah. and I like, I, and it was the last achievement I needed to get for something. I can't remember what it was, and I was losing my goddamn mind. I was screaming. I think I was with Cat. Cat's um, <laughs> like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "I'm playing Star Wars right now." <laughs> <laughs> the one that I hated was the one where it was the tunnel, and it was like <sighs> you'd be normally racing like on the ground, right? You're just above the ground, but then you go into these tunnels, and now you're just in the middle of it, floating. Yes, and then there would be a rock, a rock, and you and there's like is uh, on the third mm -hmm. lap. It was always this one rock, and it was like the whole thing, and it was like impossible. You not would hold, to hit this you would hold rock. left, you would hold left to move your pod, and your pod would go from here to like here. When really you need to go all the way fucking over here, but yeah. nope, you would just go like this, and then just like randomly, I don't know, you go like up or down, and you just. It was like yeah, that was the but outside of that, that's. Yeah, so that mm. so that one was fine. You could get enough of. There was no like weird shortcuts. There were no like workarounds. So if, as long as you didn't crash the rest of the race, you blew. I would blow up on that rock. Yeah, could finish the race fine. For me, it was those goddamn <laughs> walkways. Uh, that's my two though. My two is gonna be Pod Racer. Okay. Um. Also, sequel Pod Racer Revenge 2002. Never played that one. That one was good. It was uh, you uh, the ultimate. Uh, finishing that game, mm -hmm. so Sebulba was always like the best one, ah, right? Sebulba. So Sebulba. there was a black Sebulba. He was he, he black pod racer Sebulba mm -hmm. in the pod racer revenge. He had the orange one in the first one. Yeah. So when you like 100 percent in the game, or at least did enough in the game, you would get episode one Sebulba, where every single one of his stats were maxed. <laughs> Of course. He was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So his was like just like crazy. Like it just it didn't even. Yeah. So Pottery's Revenge doesn't do. All right. My number two. Mm -hmm. Battlefront two, two thousand five. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I never played uh, that one. So. Well, I hope you will if they fix if, classic collection, which I don't the, think. I was gonna say if they, if they get it fixed and everything, I might. I'll play it with you. Play it on PC with me. Big. Um, yeah, no, probably. I mean, like I said, I I, I never played it. I'm down to play. I mean, any one of the Star Wars games are fun to play. Like no matter what. Uh, eventually, uh, eventually, yes, eventually, it does get rage inducing when things just aren't working. But that's every uh, game. That's I feel every like game. this game is way less. It's it, it just just never felt that way. Well, my also, thing, like, my thing is always as well as that like in shooter games because I always have it set so you can see who killed you. So yeah. if I see the same fucking name over and over and over again, that's killing me. I just, I, at that point, I'm, I, my, everything is gone. I just need to kill that one dude. Like, everything else is, like, dead to me. Like, I'm, everyone, everything, it is just, boom. Like, oh, I'm dude, just full we, on, just. 
we were playing ranked last night in Overwatch. Mm -hmm. We had this guy, um, the Anna on the opposing team. So we were playing. I can never remember. I never remember the mad names, but um, it's the one where you start and you have to push a payload under a. Oh, you don't push a payload. You go like under a bridge, and there's a a, a, a train on top of it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's uh, Chicago, I think. Chicago. So then you capture the first point and yep. you unlock the payload. So we had a team we were defending. The team just crushed us. Yeah. And we ended up stopping them like ten feet from the the end, mm -hmm. and somehow we just made it work. But like we held them at that last point for like six minutes somehow. Oh, yeah. This and, it's, um, it is funny how with Overwatch, there's certain points where like you just get you just get railed. The entire yeah. game but then there's like one choke or one spot that just somehow seems to be like a sweet spot where they can't get past you and you just somehow yeah. are pulling it out of your ass i was like, i was tanking i was tanking as uh maga and uh, like and i just was like was i maga at that point no i switched to, i had switched to diva hmm. uh diva and like i just figured it out i got it together i was messing with them and then they started tinkering yeah. And like sometimes like you try to like adjust and then it just it turns into tinker and you never do it. Mm -hmm. So there Anna started freaking out. And like you know, texting the whole like the whole game, like That's funny. Freaking out. Yeah, and then freaking out, like you guys are throwing this and that, and then like this Anna, I'm not kidding you, mm -hmm. was by the end of the first round, was two and two. I'm not kidding. You know, like two eliminations, two no assists. No assists. So just healing, but not even like that much healing. The Zen had more healing <laughs> there. So then we're going through, going through. It's, uh, sorry if I'm, we don't need to talk about Overwatch anymore. I, I'm just like, I keep going off on tangents today. Oh, um, last thing, I'll just go. She ended the game two and three. She just kept saying, port this person for throwing. And we're all like, dude. Stop freaking out. And then I was like, dude, you want two and three. That's, that's, when like, you just, that's just when you hit with the you got carried. Yeah, just, I'm just fully yeah, watch them. Just, just to um, fully watch them. Lose all right, I keep going on these tangents today. Um, Battlefront Two, yes, Battlefront was one two. of the first multiplayer games I played online. Mm -hmm. uh, PS2 online, okay. 2000, 2005. My first online game was uh, um, SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Oh, okay, nice. I was going to play a lot of SOCOM. Mine was, My uh, online name at the time was M9, M9 like the gun. Okay. Um, yeah, so, um, that was, uh, SOCOM, and then this game, and this game, I don't know how many people could play online, but it was very few, it was, like, maybe one other person I think you could play with. God damn. That's how, like, small multiplayer was at the mm -hmm. time. So, this, early, though, early, early game, um, I like how you're saying, you see the person's name that kept killing you. Yep. So, at the end of the game, it would give a, a breakdown of, like, a really good breakdown even like today you don't get breakdowns like this it's of the stats yeah. you'd get like cannon fodder who died the most who captured the most points mm -hmm. we don't hurt who... people's feelings with these sort of things so we got we can't oh, do that these right. days you know so uh yeah and then who captured the most points who yeah. did the most damage who did like this who did that who got the most kills and it did like it had like 10 different things you know and it would be a combination of both sides and it would always be like funny made up names because it's a Star Wars universe and it was all like computers. So I think that was like a really cool early thing they did that I wish games still did. Okay. Instead of just being like you look at the the after game report and you're like, oh, this person did this damage there that. Yeah. You know. Um. So that's that's only two. My number one. Fallen Order. Oh, okay. I still have yet yeah. to. I still have yet to play it. I have not finished jedi survivor it's very good i just haven't finished survivor, it. survivor the first one or the second one uh fallen order is the first one okay so i haven't played either one of them i finished the first one the first okay. one is like amazing it is rage inducing because have you ever played dark any of the dark souls games i have not but i've seen people play it and it was rage inducing watching them watching them play it so i can only imagine if i do play it <laughs> um so I I've purposely made myself like hate life because you can change difficulties. I think there's like five difficulties. Oh really? Um, yeah. So like I played on the second hardest difficulty. Yeah, see, no, I I it's so I, I put I, myself through hell. I and it's every time every time I've done any of these like for instance like uh, Gears of War. On, yeah. Like for the when oh, I've been doing dude. it for YouTube. Uh, Nightmare. E easy. The easiest Nightmare. fucking difficulty possible. I still and I still rage and lose my shit. 
easiest difficulty still like, i can't i can't it's like if my thing has always been like it's like look if i'm doing this for so the, i want to learn i want to see the story and i want to play uh -huh. it for youtube i'm uh -huh. not putting it any higher than normal like at a all and even then <laughs> a buddy of mine wants to play through the halo games it's like something to do yeah as like a, a group of us and uh, I'm like, yeah, only if we play a legendary. He's like, no, like the game. He's like, the, even the designers say the game is meant to be played on heroic. And I'm like, no, 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 it's meant to be played on legendary. And I'm like, I will only play if we play a legendary. And he's like, why are you like this? And it's literally <laughs> what he says. I'm like, this is how you play the game. <laughs> why are you like this? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, it's Halo legendary or it's nothing. See that one, I would agree with just because that's how I was raised when for for Halo. Like, is Halo is like you put that bitch on the hardest thing and you just send it like. Yeah, no, like, what are we talking about? Yeah. It's Halo and Legendary. Oh, let me turn my headset off. Um, all right, so, uh, Fallen in Order. Fallen Order, which, I, I, it's, I don't know why it's my number one. I just loved it. Mm -hmm. I, like, it's definitely the most immersed I've gotten to, like, a single-player game in a while. Well, I'm wondering if there's a side of it that... Because it is it's such a big hit, right? It became such a big hit. And I'm wondering if it's because it did kind of give us the, one, the the Jedi experience. Yeah. And it kept a pretty linear story, too. Whereas, like, the second one is way more open world. Oh, okay. In a sense. It's still kind of linear. Like, the you can choose to I go to different planets. do things, but... And, like, I get really lost in open world, mm -hmm. and I get, like, I get over very overwhelmed. Yep. Thank um, you, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, it's very uh, yeah. Uh, reminiscent of that. Oh, great. So, um, the first one, though, mm -hmm. very, very linear. Well, I was going to say, I wonder if it's, uh, it is, uh, to me, because like, like I said, I've seen other people play it. I've always heard how great it is. I want I want to eventually get to playing. I just need to put time aside to do it. Because, uh, mm -hmm. of course, I'm going to do it for everyone here on YouTube as well. I want, I, I want them to If you play it on it. easy, the easiest mode, you'll be fine. Yeah. It's not like, um, not that you wouldn't be, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm wondering if it's because I wonder if it's such a big hit because one, like I said, you get to live out the, the fantasy of a Jedi, which we haven't really had truly like that, like an RP, like, like post fall of the Jedi yes. too. But then also, it's interesting because it's a character that we don't know. Every other game it's is like a character. It's a character that either you know or like you've heard of. This is now a character that's brand new, so it's kind of almost like you're the character. If that yeah. does that make sense? Oh yeah, you know. So it's almost like it's almost your own it's a blank uh, slate. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. You can, you can determine who this person is. And I think that was the biggest thing that made it as a subconscious thing that made it so people loved the games as, um, as much and as they did. Yeah, combat yeah. Is, is I was saying, all all of that stuff. I think like, along with the fact of it being like a brand new thing, brand new character, yeah. whole new story, and everything. It's like. You know, but then also, you know, then keeping it so it's like, hey, look, this is still Star Wars. Boom, there's Vader. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, no, I dig that. I dig that as a one. My one is in the complete opposite direction. Okay. <laughs> complete opposite direction. My one, I'm going to open this link up here because I don't know the actual year that this, uh, this came out. 1998. Can you tell a theme here? <laughs> With most of my things. I love the I-90s. Um... This is uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Okay, I've also played that on the N64. Yep, the old N64 game. This yep. game was just sit down and you play Star Wars and you just shut your brain off. Have you played the, the remake? Nope. I don't know if it's a remake, but it, it is also the, the, Rogue the newest version. The, uh, I played Squadron. the first couple levels. It, it's, it's really good. I just haven't like yeah again. It's just one of those things. Just I haven't gone around to it. You could up, hook it up to VR. That'd be really cool to check out. Yeah, I can't. I don't. I don't do VR. I got two. I got. I got. No. Nope. No. Oh, nope. No. Oh, no. No. But this. This is my one. Just because like this was like one of my first like games where like I could sit down and just lose myself and not rage and just have fun and it was just a good time. There was like one level that I raged in because I couldn't fully do it. Like I could yeah. do it, but I couldn't fully do it. It was one of those sort of things. I dude, I couldn't, I couldn't beat a single level in that game when I was a kid. So I, I loved it as a kid. Like I just, you know, um, so like I said, this is my. There's one mission I could beat. You had to, you had to, uh, um, escort a bomber somewhere. Mm -hmm. That was the one mission I could beat. It was a snow level. Um, yes, yeah, so this, this, this would be my one. But, um, so before we do get towards wrapping this up, though, um, everyone at home. 
if you're listening, we love you, first of all. But also, what is your guys' okay. favorite Star Wars game? We kind of just went through our top uh, our top five and just kind of talked about Star Wars in general. you know. Uh, so what is your guys' top Star Wars game? And what would you suggest that we play if we didn't list it? Um, I, well, we're supposed to be getting... We're getting, what, Outlaws here soon? Star Wars no, Outlaws? Yeah, got canceled, I think. That one got canceled as well? Because I thought that was like fully like ready to go. I, I know there was, was one... was 1313 and that got canceled. I wouldn't even talk about all that. Yeah, um... Let me take a look real quick, because I thought Outlaws was ready to rock and roll. Oh, thought... you're right. Oh, I was thinking of a different game. Yeah, that no, game so, Outlaws, out. Outlaws is ready to rock and roll. It's targeting, one month ago, so it's targeting for a May release date. Outlaws looks interesting. It'll, we'll see. Um, it will be the most detailed Star Wars experience you've ever seen. <laughs> um, says I was, NVIDIA as it towns its uh, DLS3 was, and ray tracing capability. Send an open world. The game will feature stealth and open combat, vehicle combat, space combat, and branching dialogue. Already immediately, just from and reading all of that, don't trust it. And I don't think it's EA. Uh, massive Entertainment. The, yeah, I think this is the first one that's Ooh, not EA. Oh, this is Ubisoft. Yeah. So, there we go. Okay. All right. Which I might like, weirdly have more faith in. <laughs> yes. So here's so here's the pre- kind of open world game. Here's the premise. The premise yeah. is set between the events of Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So another era just like um uh, Shadow of the Empire. Is that um, 4 and 5? Uh yes, yeah, so it'll be five 4 and 5. Six. No. 4 and 5. Yeah. 4. No, 5 and 6. 5 and Empire 6. Strike. Yeah, yeah, 5 yeah. and 6. Um yeah. Outlaw Scoundrel K Vess and her companion, Nyx, attempt one of the biggest heists the Outer Rim has ever seen in a journey across several planets, including familiar ones like Tatooine, Kimji, Kim, Kijimi, and Akva, <laughs> and never-before-seen ones like the moon I, of <laughs> Tosari. I had to be that guy like, like, I, planets like this, and I'm like... What's that? I'm looking at. The, I'm literally looking at the same same exact. Uh, right, it's like familiar ones like Tatooine. It's like, all right, I know that one. And then the next like five is like no clue. Um, it sounds interesting. I just don't. I don't know. Did you see any of the game previews for it? I think I, I think I may have done a reaction to the trailer. I watched. Yeah, I, I watched remember. the original. Like they did a gameplay walkthrough. Yeah, and it's definitely like not the actual. It's like this. It's like a very like. This is done just for Manu- this moment. Sort yeah, of it's thing. a very manufactured video. Yeah. So it's very cool, but it's a, like, um, I don't know. There's a yeah. lot, a lot of the things that, are, that I just read as like, this is all the different things that's going to happen in it. It's like, that's a lot of things to be putting in one game. A lot of things. Yeah. The stealth element, the stealth element, it feels, um, a lot like <laughs> Splinter Cell at times, <laughs> which I, that's all I can. But I don't know. It ha- it's crazy. It's next month, two months, two months. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, two months. So um, we were supposed to be getting a Mandalorian FPS shooter, but now that's that gone. Got, that got ca- that is one that got canceled. That's the one that got canceled. Um, um, and then we were supposed to get thirteen thirteen, which is like the people are most upset about, which is a young well, Boba Fett. Was... What about Eclipse? Did we ever hear anything about Eclipse? This one's saying late 2024. Is Star Wars Eclipse coming out? However, there have yet to be any recent formal updates on the Star Wars Eclipse. It's more than likely released in 2025 or later. I was going to say, because that trailer... Do you remember that trailer when that dropped? I, I don't remember that. So the Star Wars Eclipse trailer was absolutely insane. Like, the very ending of it is, like, a bunch of, like, robed monks, like, banging on drums and shit and then it's just like Star Wars Eclipse. Like it doesn't tell you anything. And like they oh, just Oh yeah, I do remember this. Yeah, they just yeah, randomly can... dropped this trailer out of I don't think so. I can't see anything that's saying it is. It just says that there's been no news. December twenty one. Uh Star Wars Eclipse that's website. Right. Oh I completely forgot about that. Holy sh- holy shnikes. Yeah the yeah the there's the website's still up and fine. It just it doesn't say it's, anything. It's all about like the original Republic, the High Republic. Yeah, I'm assuming that. I mean, uh... well, I had this. Open. We got 1313 was canceled. Uh, a Darth Maul Star Wars game was canceled when Disney bought them out. I meant to bring this up when we talked about Battlefront 2, 2005. They had a full Battlefront 3 made and decided to cancel it. Um, and um, that one actually was like really revolutionary because you had 
and I talked about the the current the the most recent Battlefront two where you'd go back and forth if you kept winning and losing. Yeah, this one you could do ground combat and space combat simultaneously. You could like take a spaceship from the ground. And just fly it into space. That's insane. There, and then have a whole nother level. And this was all like seamless, and apparently it worked. That's so that cool. was a huge thing they, they um, had. So there's an article here from February 28th, so a couple weeks ago. Um, and it says, uh, this is just like everything we know. So I'm just going to read the part here because it's just a story. It says, it's uh, said to take place in uncharted region of the Outer Rim during the High Republic era, known as the Golden Age of the Jedi. That means we'll be heading back hundreds of years before the Star Skywalker saga to a time where Jedi and the Galactic Republic was at its most powerful. I, uh, With the way that that first trailer dropped, like, two years ago, I find it hard to believe that they're getting rid of this game. I think, if anything, it's just like, we announced uh, it, here it is, boom, we're just well, kind they of... announced. I also, I don't know why I didn't bring this up. They announced a like a Knights of the Old Republic remake, mm -hmm. and that was that it was going to be only PlayStation for a bit. And then, uh, like six months after, they the, there's like rep this an event, a reporter asked the head of that company doing it, like, when's it coming out? And he's like, I'm not, I don't want, I don't know anything about that. What game are you talking about? <laughs> and like, not in a funny way, it was just basically like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah, so it's. That one's like very in limbo, a remake, which like that's what it was. So this says it was described as an early development in 2021 during the Game Awards. I was gonna say I knew it was a couple years ago. The show they showed this, but like yeah, it's like there's it's been full, no. It's a full trailer though. Been no delays since no launch day has been confirmed. So they literally just dropped a trailer and said, "This is what we're doing, bro," and that's it. <laughs> it might well, be the I mean, most bad. Elvis Rose Six. Was, yeah. Yeah. That might be the most badass thing ever. It's just like, this is what we're doing. Boom. When's it coming out? What are you talking about? What's what, what, When's what coming out? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> literally like, I, if that if that is happening, then it's like the least of our concerns. It's basically yeah. what he said. That's he's like, if it happens, but it's, it's at the end of, it's at the bottom of our list. Jesus Christ. Yeah, um, so just like. Yeah, so bonkers. I'm I'm intrigued. Like I said, the. I think the Mandalorian one would have been kind of cool. Yeah, but at the same time, though, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm also a Titanfall Apex fan, so it's like we lost Titanfall three, then we lost Titanfall Legends. Which I don't know if you heard about that. So, so, so in the Apex lore right now, Cuban Blisk is just vanished, like no one knows where Blisk is. And Who's that? The, so, Cuban Blisk was the main mercenary in Titanfall two, the one okay. red who gives you the card. Um. <laughs> So I didn't play Titanfall two actually. What? I only played Titanfall one. Okay, you got to play Titanfall two. Um, at the end of the game, he gives you a card that invites you to the Apex to be an Apex Legend, which was oh, okay. at, well to be an Apex Predator, which is, which is one of the mercenaries. Um, and then in, in Apex Legends, he's running the games for the first like fifteen seasons. I want to like Apex. Mm -hmm. It's dude. It's 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 the biggest. Like it's more hate <laughs> love than uh, Overwatch is for me at this point. Like yeah. I, I want to like it. I love the lore. <laughs> like, of it, I really like, want to like it. So the lore, so like to to not go too far off tangent, but the, the lore of it was like, like so. Uh, Cuban Blisk is like no longer running the games, and they just kind of writ him out of everything because they were okay. working on a single person game where you play as him, and he's off trying to find new talent, like that sort of thing or something like that. But like that was their whole thing. So like they were gonna do a whole game where you play as Cuban Blisk, and then like every now and then you might run into the Apex Legends. I have a question about Apex. Yes. In the lore, do the do the people die when they die, or are they? Is it like a? Um, there's a like uh um, it's like a or is it like a almost like a VR thing? It's like a pod. So like they die, but then they like they die. They go into the box, and when they go into the box, they basically get like teleported to another box. So it's like like back on the ship sort of thing. Like is it like mind transfer? What is it? it um, I guess you could like. I don't want to like. You know, I'm not like saying that in like. There's, well, no, no. There's, there's a, there's a voice line that one of them says about like a cryo chamber sort of thing at mm -hmm. some point. Because I, so it's, it's basically they, like, they can't just all die. The way, the way, like, the way, the the way that I people, think, they all know each other. Yeah. So the way that I think about it is that it's like, the at least the way that I, I think about it anyway is that as soon as you die, you go into your death box, right? You get the death box. My yeah. thing is, this, like, you go into the death box. The death box is basically just there to 
teleport your body to either the main ship where everyone jumps out of or to some other place. So it's like it teleports your body back there. And then at the end of the game, all the reboot cards are basically, all the cards, for instance, right, are gathered and then they just reboot they reboot you back on the ship. So you basically just keep coming back. What if it's it. like a, an altered carbon thing where it's like a sleeve? So like you have... Uh, not so much an altered carbon thing. Where like you have, you say you're in a pod, mm. and you're, you just control another body, like a fake body. Could be as yours. It could be, and they just have a whole, like, pit filled with your bodies, and then, <laughs> then when it's time to come back in, <laughs> could be. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's actually a good. I have to look that one up. But um, so like my thing is this though, with the, like with the Mandalorian game, they canceled Legends and then announced that. So my thing immediately at that point, I'm like. Fuck that Mandalorian bullshit. Like, you know, but it's like, them kids. you know, um, you know, I don't know. I, I think no matter what you're going to get, you're going to get, um, pushback, whatever sort of fucking game you make these days. Let's be honest here. If you were to make a, a Star Wars game, this is how we'll end this. If you were to make okay. a Star Wars game, what yeah. type of Star Wars game would you make? Cause I already know what I would try to make. Well, let's see what you guys make. I would do. I would try to do like a full on MMO. Yeah, I think a full on MMO, like yeah. MMO RPG, like a like a WoW, new uh -huh. new age. Make it kind of. I mean, last every MMO I've played has been um, Lost Ark, right? But like, if you could yeah. do a lot of the basic MMO stuff, but like with lightsabers and with all this and that, and like, I think that would be cool to do. I think I'd be. Solid. Yeah, I wish they made like a modern old republic so it had good bones mm -hmm. but it's not it's just not there and i think mmos are kind of dying anyways yes because because even like um what we were talking about before uh no actually i was talking about this in my di uh, discord with a buddy like mobas mm -hmm. when's the last time you saw really a moba you know you have like smite is like the only one that's really smite in league of legends yeah Smite no one's really I mean, playing Dota in America anymore. I was gonna say Dota's more, um, Eat, like Europe, Europe and Russia. Yeah. Um, but like, because Smite Two's coming out. Yep. It was just funny um, that Smite Two's coming out when you look at it, and it's just Smite, just with better graphics. I mean, well, Overwatch Two. Yeah. Thanks, Smite. Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Overwatch Two though. I've been liking it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Smite. I played a lot, a good amount of Smite. I, I really like Smite, but yeah, Neath, like MOBA. Neath main, what? baby. Neath main. I couldn't remember her name. I was trying to remember mm -hmm. her name the other day because I played a ton of her. Uh, I like the uh, the guy who drinks and eats a lot. I played him a lot as a tank. Oh, Bacchus. Bacchus. Yeah. Uh, so that's like uh, MOBAs. That's yeah. another similar kind of game that's like not really... Because like, when was the last time you remember a MOBA coming out? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, well, it's one of those things. It's, it's just that every... Every company seems to be trying to either go live service, BR, or shooter. You see Harry Potter, they're trying to go live service the next game? Yeah. Which, insane. Like, that's like, is it, like, well, are you going to make it an online multiplayer game? Yeah, I just, I, oh. like, they already said they weren't going to add multiplayer to the fucking legacy. You know, yeah. now they're like, oh, no, now we're just going to do full live service. You know, I mean, shit, I mean, it's it should be, I mean, if anything, live service should be a Ooh, warning. A Harry Potter MMO? Ooh, that would that That'd would cool. that would slap. But like, I mean, uh, kill the Justice League should that should be a warning to anyone because that yeah. game ain't that game. They have a full year's worth of like we've already planned a full year's worth of stuff. They they ain't gonna get to a full fucking year. They, they already have to, or they break a contract. <sighs> that's the thing. They've already pushed up the date of the first season. You it's, know what I mean? Like they like when I so when I say like they're not gonna get the all the, the first year out, they're gonna get the first year out. It's just that it ain't gonna be pretty. I mean shit. Look at Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights was supposed to be not live I don't think it was live service anyway, right? Um but you yeah. could play multiplayer, you could play online, play the game, beat the game, then you do new game plus to get an extra ten levels and better equipment. I don't know any about that, but that sounds stupid. It was stupid. I didn't play it. And then they released. There was no. It's on game. It's already on Game Pass, right? Probably. I mean, actually, I yeah. think it is. But there was. So there was no DLC released for it. The only DLC they released for it actually was they did one tower. They did a Starro 
like a tower thing where like if you go up high enough then you can get like a different color for your character you know what's crazy hmm. uh i always think about this every once in a while they never released a single dlc for gta five. no campaign not a single one no they never had to they yeah. released they released gta 5 boom there it is that's perfect now let's do the most player online stuff there we it go. was perfect i'll give them that you know, I mean, and that's the thing. It's like they don't need to though, because they have the multiple. They have the online, so it's just like there's the game. Cool, you have the game. Because I'm pretty sure if you have the game, you have online, right? Like you have both. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, right. So it's, it's you know, they, they don't no need online to. service fee. There's yeah, no they, membership. They don't need to because uh, it's just there. It is boom. I can send God. it. Right? I, that's a game I probably still play every once in a while if it had cross progression, because I I got such a high level on Xbox mm. that like I couldn't. I just can't go back to me it. And, and I spent money on shark cards. So uh, like, me and Boo yeah. played it for a little bit on. On stream and on Xbox, just online stuff. We never really did anything, though. We were just getting cars and drive around and try to get fucking five stars and survive. Like, we just did stupid shit like that. We never actually did, like, any of the missions or anything. But, like, it's just... I, I don't know. I... It's, it's interesting because gaming is in a weird place. You see people, like... I mean, of course, they got paid to do this, mind you. But, like, Tim the Tatman and Doc. We're never gonna play Helldivers! They played... A week later, they're playing Helldivers, and they're fucking ecstatic and smiling and happy and having a great time, right? And it's just, it's the mind rot of just where the industry has been for so long. But it's also the the thing that sucks about with the content creation stuff. Because a new game comes out, it's always one of the first things that comes up. Who's going to beat it first, and who's going to break it first? Every fucking time. Every game, every season, every chapter, every whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's the same thing. You know? Uh, I saw a clip of Tim talking about, like, new up-and-coming streamers. Yeah. And, like, you know, like, talking about, like, Jinxie and, like, Queso yep. and Sketch. catching all them. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, yeah, they're, like, getting up there good and stuff. I'm like, yo, so Jinxie's, like, higher than him now. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, like, it's it's funny because, like, you see Doc as well, Doc talking about, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, now that we're not on Twitch, you know, and I can talk about Twitch a little bit, you know, it's like, you know, we're not on there, so we don't get invited to this or that, and, you know, YouTube isn't that great that everyone thinks it is, and it was one of those things, it's like, he said that, and it's like, that might be the first time I've heard someone on YouTube that went over say that, publicly, mm -hmm. you know. It's and not it's all sunshine and rainbows, like. I mean, Twitch, with all, like, their, you know, faults, I think, like, once you were up there, like, they were, like, making it worth your while. Oh, yeah. Except for him, where, like, you don't, you still really don't know why he got fired. Yeah, or, like, know. got banned. We have no idea. There's, yeah, al there's always going to be the, the assumptions and the rumors, but we don't, we, we, we're, we're probably never going to know. Unless, that's crazy. Yeah, you know. Um, unless you were to tell all. But, like, that's, that would be my uh, game that I would make those. I'd try to make, like, a true... <laughs> yeah. Like a true MMO RPG, I think that'd be uh, sick because you could easily. The cool thing with that as well is like you could easily do expansions by just adding new worlds. Uh huh. Like that's it. I would like to be like a real stormtrooper, not like a battlefront thing, where it's like um, almost like a like a Halo Three ODST mm -hmm. game, but as a stormtrooper. That'd be cool. Yeah, so that's that would be something I would like. That'd be cool. I mean, I I would say I would like it. Because it's because I like the I like the clones more than the stormtroopers. That's just me. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to do okay. Well, clones that well, makes was... sense. Because that... and then you can make it like a raid T game because you're just killing robots. Well, and then also um... I was gonna say the other thing would be kind of cool as well is that like if if that game did well, you could do a sequel where it's the part where it's the clones and then are getting pushed out by the regular, um, soldiers basically at that point because that was mm -hmm. a big that was a big side arc thing that happened, right? So I was thinking while I was talking about that, I was like, it made me like a, like almost like a mil sim, but like a hardcore game. Mm -hmm. Then I was thinking like squad, you ever heard of her squad? Uh, I think you've told me about it. Squad. Yeah. Squad is like a, a military sim, but yep. they have a bunch of mods you can do. Like they have a whole halo one you can get. Mm -hmm. There's a star Wars one where it's, it's literally like clone troopers against the robots. Mm, okay. And, um, it's hardcore. Like if you get shot like once or twice, you're dead. You're dead. You're done. You're done, and yeah. so it's really fun. But like, people take it way too seriously. Oh, They're yeah. like, and it's like it's not like a rank thing. It's nothing. It's like people are free. Like, I don't know. It's just like, I, dude, I the way people take like cuss people out. Man, I hate gaming sometimes lately. Like, mm -hmm. 
It's just, it's, People just can't have fun playing games. They can't, and it's 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 one of those things where it's like I don't know how how you change it because it's just it's you know. Like again, go back to Overwatch. Was playing tank the other night, and someone was like, "You should change," and I was like, "Bro, their supports have three deaths combined." Like, I, I think you should be like, don't be talking to me about changing. Yeah, it's, there's there's so many different times, especially with like, everybody gets this big ego, especially like with a game like Overwatch. Everyone just gets such a big ego on them where it's like, oh yeah, we, maybe you should go do something different. It's like, dude, yeah. dude, you have one kill, four deaths, and you have a thousand damage. Yeah. You're like, oh, is it? It's my fault that but you're it, doing but, poorly. Yeah, but it's my fault that you keep running into their fucking backline, right? Like, yeah. I, yeah. It's it's. I don't know. It's. Because it's one of those things where I always find it funny when people talk about it, especially with, like, Fortnite, Apex, uh, Call of Duty, like, that sort of thing. These are games that have been out for years. Plural. And it's like, oh, it's so sweaty. Everything's so sweaty. It's like, that's because we've all been playing it for four fucking years. Yeah, this is what it's become. Like, it's it's not like it's... We can't just jump in and have fun because we're all playing playing for so long now. We've all we're been... Playing to win. Yeah. They we're not playing to... You know, it's just it's uh. one of those things where it's like, it's... Yeah, it's I don't know. It's because I mean we've seen we've seen some games come through that we thought were going to be, you know, game changers. You know, let's uh, yep. what's the uh, what was the Portal one, the one with portals, and it was the shooter, the arena oh, shooter. Okay. That we thought that was going to do something. No, Splitgate shot itself in its foot because Xbox. I don't know if it was Xbox, but someone offered to buy them out for like a ton of money, and they're like, oh, "We're all set. We got this." And oh, then. Really? Yeah, and then I think Halo came out the next week and everyone stopped playing it. And I think Microsoft off- offered to give them like a ton of money. And they were just like, nah, dude, we're fine on our own. Yeah, that's all. And then they were not fine on their own. <laughs> they were not fine, but... Um, all right, so chat. What did you chat? You guys, <laughs> the community, what do you guys think? What would be your Star Wars game if you had to make a Star Wars game? Like I said, I kind of think an MMORPG would be kind of cool. Danute wants to do a ODST version with a clone of Stormtrooper. I think that'd be cool too. Um, but let us know down in the comments down below, right? Um, and next week, we will be talking about something else. Maybe packs. Maybe packs. Maybe packs. Maybe snacks. Definitely snacks. That's not a maybe. Um, I just bought like $200 worth of snacks. But anyways... Um, Let's know down in the comments down below, right? And as always, depending on where you are, more than happen, even nice day. Stay safe, and we we talk to y'all later. Bye.